Hello everyone and welcome to another IT training video. In this video I will be talking about the pen tool in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator CS5. So before we talk about the pen tool you kind of have to understand how Illustrator works and this is like the basic of the basic. Everything in Illustrator is made up of pads and anchor points and all the shapes that you make, all the lines that you make, they're all made up of anchor points and pads. And let me show you how uh, show you an example. Here I'm going to make a rectangle using my rectangle tool. And I'm just going to click and drag to make a new rectangle. And you can see that this rectangle is made up of four pads, one, two, three, four, and also four anchor points. So you can see them right there. There's an anchor point right there in that corner, anchor point right here in this corner, and so on. And so what Illustrator is, is pretty much, if you reduce it really, really a lot, then you'll find out that Illustrator is just a giant connect the dots machine. And you make the dots and it will connect them exactly how you want them to connect. So, for example, I will remake this shape using the pen tool. And what the pen tool is, is basically a anchor point maker or a dot maker. They're called anchor points. And every time I click, it's going to create an anchor point. So I'm going to click once here, and you can see there's an anchor point. And then I can click another one here, another one there, another one here. And it connects all these dots for me. So right now, you can see I have an open path. It's not quite a rectangle yet. And if I want to create a shape, I have to close the path. And to close the path, all I have to do is click on the first anchor point uh, that I made and I'm going to hover my mouse over it until I have this nice O next to that pen icon. And that means I'm at the origin and if I click it's going to close the path. So I'm going to click, it closes the path and now Illustrator recognizes this as a rectangular shape. All right. So that is lesson one. The pen tool is used to make anchor points. Now, what happens if I don't really like the anchor points that I have? I can use my direct selection tool, that is the white arrow, and I can move these anchor points around. So, there are two selection tools in Illustrator. One is called the selection tool, and that's the black arrow. And every time I say selection tool, I mean the black arrow. Every time I say direct selection tool, I mean the white arrow. So I'm going to use my direct selection tool to move my anchor points. And now I can click on an anchor point, and when I click on it, notice how the active anchor point is solid and the inactive anchor points are hollow. They're, they're white in the middle. The, only the active anchor points will react to my clicking and dragging. So if I click and drag this point now, I can rearrange the shape and I can move this anchor point wherever I want. I even can put it on the other side. I can have a cross pattern. Again, Illustrator is a giant connect the dots machine. If I want to select more than one anchor points, I can hold down my shift button, I can select another anchor point, and now I can move two at a time with the shift key. All right, awesome. So what happens if I want to add anchor points? So if I want to add an anchor point to an existing path or shape, this is an existing shape now because I've closed it, I can use my pen tool, and if I hover my pen tool over a path, remember a path is just a line between two anchor points, I will get an icon that looks like the pen tool but has a plus sign. And if I click when I have a plus sign, and remember it's only when I'm hovering over a path, I can create anchor points. So if I want to turn this into, a, let's say, a four-pointed star, I can put an anchor point on each side, like so, and use my direct selection tool to move in these anchor points. There you go. Now I have a very horrendously drawn four-point star. Or, uh, sh yeah. It's awful. It doesn't matter. I'm teaching you the pen tool. You, should, you guys should be grateful for that. Okay, so that is um, adding anchor points. If I want to subtract an anchor point, let's say I have put too many anchor points in this shape. I want to get rid of them. I want to use my pen tool again, and instead of hovering over a path like I did before, I'm going to ho hover over an anchor point. And when I hover over an anchor point, notice how that plus sign turns into a minus sign. That will get rid of your anchor points. So with the pen tool, if you click on an anchor point, it will delete it, like so, like so, like so, and like so. 
that is basically the pen tool. All right, so those are the pen tool basics. In my next video, I will talk about um, doing curved lines with the pen tool, and then finally probably a, an application in the third video. Haven't uh, conceived that quite yet in my head. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you want to learn more about the pen tool, if you want some practice, hands-on practice with a very qualified trainer here at BYU IT Training, be sure to register uh, for some of our free software classes. And happy pen tooling, guys. I'll see you in the next video.